Hello and welcome to Hand of Fate in 3D with Corrent and our first giveaway. This is a great dungeon crawling card game with some action thrown in for a bit of spice and if you like the look of the game then you can win yourself a copy. To enter the giveaway just subscribe and comment below. The winner will be announced in one week on Thursday the 28th of July. And for the 3D What's conversion I used Trider 3D, originally I tried it in the generic profile and there was quite a lot of distortion, but then I tried the Hearthstone profile and that cleared everything up. The 3D looks great again and any apparent drops in frames is from my recording, not the gameplay because it does run really well. I thought that just reading the text would be a bit boring for you guys so I've read it out myself, but don't be too scathing of my dramatization. And I hope you enjoy the video. You are silent. You see a weapon glinting in sunlight lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of a canyon. Climb down to retrieve the weapon. We may as well. Choose from these options. Very carefully you make your way down to the bottom of the canyon. You retrieve the weapon from the ancient corpse. Frostfang. Each hit slows the target with cold. As pleases Another. you. The Maiden. One day in a shady forest you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merith of the forest folk. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? Longer life, supplies, gold, or to be blessed. Hmm. A blessing is always useful. But I think we'll be practical and get longer life. As you wish, Merith mutters and waves her hand, a light shines from your skin. Plus five max health. If you gain health, then I work harder to take it. Feud wagon. Violence and destruction everywhere. Is this the way the world is now? You come across a broken down wagon laden with food, its owner nowhere in sight. We'll call to offer help. Oh, thank God you're here. A merchant leaps out of the bushes. Some bandits attacked my cart and I hid in the trees. Please accept this food as thanks. As he hands over some food, the merchant explains that he was on his way to a distant trading post and that as a result of his troubles, his food delivery will be delayed. I'm sure you are grateful for that. That was an easy one. Horse is a fine companion. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. You do not seem to have the temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom. Goblin King's Halls 3. Again, a token is at stake. Hoy, lad, the enigmatic goblin Mr. Lionel climbs out of a barrel behind a tavern as you pass through a small village. I've made some refinements to the magic device, and I think we'll do better this time if we take another shot at those treasure vaults. Oh, Mr. Lionel. You see, goblins sometimes hide their best treasure, magic items and such like, in enchanted treasure chests. The magic amulet will now reveal these to you, if there should chance to be one in any treasure vault we happen to visit. What say you, lad? Shall we have another shot at that Goblin King's treasure? All right, Mr. Lionel. Good lad, let's go right now. I think I've located one in a desert not far from here. Under the blazing sun of a nameless desert, you and the Goblin find a door partially buried beneath the shifting sands. You can keep whatever gold you recover, but remember to look around for treasure chests. They are sure to hold something worthwhile into the vault.
I think we've kind of automatically got on that. Good work, Mr. Lionel exclaims, seeing the loot you return with. You see, I told you there was more to be gained from these vaults. You divide up the treasure between the two of you. Piece of equipment. After every third combat, the player receives plus 20 health. That's alright. Armory. Once per combat, press right bumper to activate an aura that makes every successful strike drop gold. Explorer's helmet. Reveal stairs. Small aid to navigation, but still. Helm of reflection. Of Upon course, reflecting defense, a projectile. But a valuable one nonetheless. Oh, I'm not very good at reflecting projectiles, so we'll do. Explorer's Helmet or Mercenary Conjurer An item that tells you how to move quickly but tempts you to take your time We'll take the helmet A few more raids like this and we'll, I'll be living like a king myself, Mr. Lionel grins happily as he stuffs his new treasures into a pair of old sacks. Then he heads back into the desert. Goodbye, Mr. Lionel. Angry Guildmaster. Everything is light or darkness and our prince straddles the borders. As you travel the dark streets of Steagle, one night a nobleman atop a mighty steed nearly, nearly knocks you down. Apologize to him. Out of my way, peasant, he calls as he rides away. My daughter has run away with a vagabond. Oh, we were meant to steal from him. Let's see if we can get... We can see if we can buy something decent in the shop with our guild. Don't really need food. the axe just in case. Hmm. We'll try that. It's sometimes form follows function and vice versa. In this case, it's called a huge hammer. You take a guess. I like the increased damage. And the 
sell Frostfang. What will you do with that? Oh, it's got no value now. We'll sell our shitty axe. That should do. Asleep at the inn. There is nowhere safe to sleep, it would seem. While sleeping at an inn, you jolt awake to find a bandit rifling through your belongings. You are quick to your feet, weapon already in hand, with my massive hammer. The bandit laughs, clearly drunk. Easy there, princess. Spare an apple, would you? There's a good lad. He stands unsteadily, clutching a stolen apple and some coins. You grab his arm in protest and earn a punch in the face. Looks like Nancy here wants a fight. The bandit laughs again. Sp spits at your feet and turns to leave. Well, we can't take this, especially now we've got a massive hammer. With one practice swing, you execute him. A surprised gasp is the last sound he makes. Suddenly, the room fills with the bandit's lackeys. Five bandit lackeys. We didn't take much damage. Thieves dealt with you accidentally wipe your row with a hand slick with the blood of <laughs> that has run down your weapon. You turn hoping to find a wash basin and find yourself once again in the presence of the ghost from the forest. Its eyes so familiar, so real compared to its shifting body look at you in fear. You took their lives so easily. Are you already lost? Remember who you are, who you were. I have lingered too long in this place, it drained so, do not forget me. You blink and the ghost is gone, those eyes gone. Deeper towards our foe. You have discovered the exit to this area. Off we go. We should recover a little bit of health. The final floor. Perhaps this time you will find and defeat the Jack of Skulls. Traveling healer. That's enough health. And we've got plenty of food, so we should be alright. The White Council won. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. As dust settles, you arrive at a small dim village known as Lesser Dimsgate. The locals are gathered at a shabby looking inn. Something must be done, shouts a voice raised in anger. They took all our gold and food, our pe <laughs> one peasant wails. Will nobody stand up to them? Well, I think we can help here. 
They went that way, not an hour ago. You easily catch up with the band of ruffians. They seem overly confident and are in no rush. As you approach, the one who seems to be their leader notices you. Kill him! He commands, gesturing towards you. He looks like a troublemaker. Two monster cards. Six bandits to kill. We took out five just before or so. Crap, I'm getting killed by arrows. You gather the stolen supplies and return them to the villagers, saying those bandits will no longer trouble you. Not because I reasoned them, because I murdered them. Oh, they weren't bandits, the child explains. They worked for the White Council. It was our turn to give tribute. This card is now... Uh, this card's token is now ours. Hmm. Thanks for telling me, kid. The mug and barrel. Let us stake a token on their foolishness. When you return to the mug and barrel, you spot the huntsman lurking in a shadowy corner of the bar. A solitary warm ale sits cooling in front of an empty chair, while a collection of empty mugs indicates that your arrival has been long awaited. I started without you, he says cheerily, but without looking up. I've got questions for you, and you'll have to ask. You'll have questions for me. Questions lead to stories, stories lead to memories, and I cannot bear those without a loss of these. He rakes his mug across the others on the table, producing a discordant chime. Sit down, you're making me look impolite. Given that you've already tracked me through the forest in Glen, I see that trying to dissuade you from this hunt would be pointless. I know how you feel. I was a boy of five when I first saw old Whitey. Sorry, that's just what I call him. The White Minotaur. The Huntsman proceeds to tell you a tale of destruction and grief, a tale decades in the making. After a while he lapses into silence like a river that has, been, that has run dry. I think I was tracking it when you stumbled into my trap. Head back into the forest and see if you can find him see what you can find. I've got business to attend elsewhere. Take it. Yeah, we got a token. Nature Desert Storm. Is the greatest threat, even with the queen now dispatched. Be swift. My god, the Gulf War is a card in this game. You are travelling through a desert when a dust storm approaches. You may be able to reach the safety of some nearby hills before the storm hits you. Well, not much point in not running for the hills. Hmm. Yay. The storm sweeps over you and you struggle against the blasting wind and sand. Oh dear. We're going to be... We lost our helmet. 30% of a gold, not too bothered about that. 
Blob food, that could have been a lot worse. And we got the token. It is an irony that one of the footmen of death himself has claimed your life so easily. We're all right for health. We've got a big hammer. This hammer was brilliant. Ah, well done. Well done indeed. But you have roused the dead in their dusty tombs, and even I cannot say what will come of it. Shall we deal again? Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe and like for a chance to win a copy of Hand of Fate.